joint, essentially for anterior gapping, the SI joint has an anterior surface and a posterior surface. And so with the anterior gapping, essentially the anterior surface of the SI joint follows exactly what, which way your hands go. So if my hands are going in the way in which I'm pushing out, then it's going to gap the anterior surface. And if I'm pushing in, it's going to compress the anterior surface. So you need to be able to differentiate between the two. Because when I'm doing this, so I'm going to get on his, his ASIS and I'm going to get right underneath of it on the anterior part of the iliac crust or iliac spine. And he's not relaxed. He keeps fighting me a little bit, so I won't be able to get my hands in here. I'm just doing this to see if he'll relax a little bit. And so I'm just pushing out. With this test, you want to hold it for three minutes. Mm. Three minutes. Mm. Some people say 90 seconds, some people say three minutes. But you'll just hold the test. During, like more, more than likely on a practical, I'm going to say 90, and I'm going to say three minutes, like after like five seconds. But you want to hold, you have to hold it, and you should know how long you should hold the test for. Where's your force? And you're on the iliac crust and you're pushing it away. Okay. And so we're so gapping the anterior surface of <coughs> so the SI joint. And so this is an SI test, but it also could be a hip test. So with this test, you should ask the patient, if they have pain, you ask them where is their pain reproduced. So if I do this test and he has pain, then you say where, like, do you have pain? And he suggests ask him where is his pain? Because if his pain isn't in the hip, it's a negative test because he's coming here for hip pain. The other test for the compression, let's have you turn on your right yeah, side. So for the compression, we can do this on the sideline. And all you're going to do is get on the trochanter and the iliac crest, and you're just going to apply a downward force to compress. That's for posterior? Is it anterior compression? And this is for the posterior for the compression. So anterior compression, posterior gap. Can you do it this way? And you could also do it in supine. In your book, it has it done like this. So in the other one we had, it was anterior gapping. Posterior compression. Oh, so, okay. All right, I see what you're saying. So that, those are this and up there together. It's anterior gap. In the book, I think, in the book, it has, it has this one listed as the compression test for the SI.